So welcome back to Blender Session After Link. In this episode, I'm going to be using Blender 2.30 Alpha. So in this uh, latest version, we actually have some notes that's dealing with Curve. So Curve has been getting some love um, using geometry notes. So at, as a start, we can use a Bezier Curve and Circle. And we're going to blend them and mix them together as a default cube. Because the geometry nodes is working on a mesh object, so it doesn't operate on the curve itself for now, but still pretty cool. So we have two curve, circle and curve. Just gonna drag and drop it here. And I just scale this a little bit so we can see. Okay, this is the curve, and the other one is the circle. And we have a bunch of um, nodes that's dealing with curve, resemble curve, that's a pretty cool one, and also attribute curve map, okay that's new, and then curve to mesh, curve to mesh is what we need, this one actually can turn a curve into a donut if I'm not wrong, so let's save this very quickly, so this is a curve, first look takes a while to understand how this works but basically um, so this is the circle geometry coming in and this is the profile if the profile is actually another circle you can I believe you can make a donut so this is the default geometry which is the default cube coming in we replace it okay so we got something So it's operating, I think the profile needs to be 2D, but not really. So it's almost like a screw modifier, but not yet, but it's just like a um, sweeping this curve on top of this curve. So if we use, if we duplicate the circle, scale this one, and use uh, the other circle, as a profile, we have a donut. So this, this guy over here, we can, this is in edit mode, we can subdivide, and we can modify the shape of the curve. And we have that result. Pretty cool. Right, so this guy, um, of course, this is uh, we can resample. This is a circle, we can resample it, making it less circular. After you resample, I believe you need to weld it at the end. Oh, I don't know, uh, but the, the normal seems to be funky at the end there. Oh well, don't worry about that too much for now, I guess. So yeah, you can resample, <clears throat> and so you can also resample the profile curve, which is pretty cool. So it's resembling in the U and the V. You can of course use it uh, with stretch of nodes if you want to. So stretch of nodes, right? If uh, let's see, if we draw something using annotation grease pencil, <clears throat> you probably know the drill with stretch of. So I have stretch of nodes handy always. If you search GP and use uh, either one of these, and then you just tell it to use annotations. Use the active frame using the frame info. You are basically resampling the curve using this method. And you can use poly viewer, polyline viewer in Spectrop, and the output is going to be a curve. So, grease pencil and curve. What can we do with that? Switch back to our default cube. 
and use square top alpha curve plug this into the sample curve so we can we can um, resample this on the fly which is super cool on top of that we can transform our profile curve scale it whatever we like So we have a way to kind of make like a track road or bridge. Um, yeah, <clears throat> this is super handy. Uh, of course, you can always use the curve output because this is already mesh. It's converting, um, converting everything on the fly. Um, you can also scatter some objects. Maybe that's for the next episode. I want to show you something. However, is a is a nice trick here. That I learned from Benny, Benny Govert. Yeah, Benny have a lot of tricks under the sleeve. Attribute convert, attribute mix, and look at this. This is a way to scale every face of a polygon. I don't know if I just I can copy paste this node. Domain face 2D vector attribute convert attribute mix. Okay. Just in case it crashes. Oh yeah, okay. It works pretty cool. Can we just drag and drop it? Oh yeah, cannot. Mesh geometry coming in. So all this geometry mesh data is being processed. And this is the output. And oh yeah, it's a. This is pretty cool effect actually. Yeah. What's happening is that if you use edge split. This one is splitting the polygon face, <clears throat> depend on the this angle attributes, and then you can scale each and every face. Pretty cool effects, I think. And remember, this is like a grease pencil. So if you go to the top view or you draw a new grease pencil, <laughs> okay, multiple line doesn't quite work so anyway just yeah, draw something like that you can animate this <clears throat> if it's a single line you can animate this like so so sphere chop working together with geometry nodes and then this is a really handy nodes resample curve to mesh this one is do the sweeping and etc all right so yeah Curve is uh, definitely getting some love with the latest version of Blender 2.93, uh, Blender 3.0 Alpha. So give this a try yourself. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.